Hi students! In our video today, we are going to be practicing a common pronunciation difficulty for many students in our class, which is the pronunciation difference between the letters of B and P. Um, as always with pronunciation, we will use some minimal pairs to help us practice this change in pronunciation. Remember that minimal pair is a set of words, a pair of words, where only one sound is changing. And these help us with pronunciation because we are focusing on that difficult sound and changing that difficult sound. When we are making the b, b, b sound for the b, you should be putting your hand here and you should feel just a small piece of air coming out of your mouth. B, b. You should also feel some mo movement. You should feel some vibration, some shaking of your vocal cord here when you say b, b, b. And this is different from the p, p sound of the p. If you put your hand here in front of your mouth for the p, you have a large amount of air, a large puff of air coming out. B, B. And if you keep your fingers here, for the P, there should be no vibration. P, P, B, B. And I know I seem crazy when I'm, I'm putting my hand here and put my hand here. You think like this teacher is, is completely gone in her mind, but this Physical connection helps us to recognize the difference in the sound. Feeling the difference, feeling the difference helps us to recognize the change in the sound. So let's look at five minimal pairs where we are practicing this change from B to P. The first pair, by pie by pie beach peach beach peach big pig big pig and now putting that B and P at the end of the word. Cob, cop. Cob, cop. Robe, rope. Robe, rope. If these words are difficult for you, take some time each day, two quick minutes, record yourself using your mobile device, listen to your pronunciation. Do you hear a difference between those two words when you speak them? Feel the difference here. Feel the difference in the air. And over time, it will become easier. As always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel so that you will see new videos as they are posted. Um, share this video on Facebook with your friends or family so that we can grow our channel and we can grow our learning community. Until next time, students. Bye.